Hi everybody, in this video I want to tell you everything you need to know about properties in React. Properties allow us to send some information into a component and usually we refer to properties as props in React. So don't get confused when you see properties or props, they basically mean the same. So let's go ahead and start off with a very easy example. You can see over here that I have a simple index.html file. It's a very simple block of code that has a header and a body tag. And within the body tag of this HTML, I have a div with the ID root. And that is where we're going to be rendering the output of the component which we're going to code. So if I skip over to the index.js file, you can see that I have uh, the constant root, which is uh, simply the um, element, uh, the div element that I have over here in the HTML file. And then I'm rendering the component food within that div. And I've already created this uh, component. You can see it's the function food over here. And all it does is it says, hello, I like to eat burgers. So if I go ahead and save this file, and just as a side note, you can see that this is not saved because there's this white dot over here. So you'll see that the white dot in the top left-hand corner will disappear when I hit save, and that's what I'm gonna do now. And in that moment, you can see the white dot is gone in the top left-hand corner, and the text that I have in this function component is rendered in my browser, and it says, hello, I like to eat burgers. So how can we pass in information through the component food so that we actually can access it within this function component? So let's go ahead and try the first method, which would be to write an attribute such as name and set it equal to a value. And let's perhaps take pizza. And now what we want to do is we want to access this attribute within our function component. So let me go ahead and write props within the brackets over here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to write um, a pair of curly brackets. And within the curly brackets, I'm gonna write props.name. And now when I hit save, you'll see that in the browser on the right hand side, it's exchanged the burgers for pizza. And that is precisely because we're passing in the name pizza over here as the name of the dish which we're ordering, for example. And we're then accessing it through the props name down over here in the return statement. All right, so we've done this for one attribute. How about we try to put in multiple attributes into this function component? So we have the name of the dish, so how about we also add a topping? So we're gonna to write topping as our second attribute and whatever can go on a pizza topping, I'm not sure, let's say ham is gonna be the topping for our pizza. And so to access this in this pair of H2 tags, we can go ahead and write something like with and then within curly brackets, we can then go ahead and access the second property by writing props.topping. And now if I go ahead and save this again, you will see that on the right hand side, we have now managed to pass in two properties into our function component because both of these properties are now being shown on the right hand side within our browser. All right, so that is one way that we can add properties to our function components and how we can access them within the function. There are some things that you should note, um, which is that you don't necessarily need to write props as the property's name. Uh, it's simply a naming convention, but I can write whatever. So if I perhaps write uh, some name, whatever, and I copy this and pass it in for the property's name and save it, you'll see that there is no difference. So I can name props whatever I want to. It is simply a naming convention. And the next thing that I want you to know 
is we can, in fact, take this function and also put it in before the call to the function, which is this over here. So if I save this, you can see it still works. Uh, it still works perfectly fine. So it doesn't matter if the function is before or after the call to the, to the component. So both of these things work. Now the next thing that I want to show you is an alternative way in which we can actually pass in properties that not many people know about which is the following way. Let's get rid of the um, greater than and smaller than sign, and we're simply going to pass in the properties in the way that we're usually familiar with if we've already coded in JavaScript. So you can see I have the individual attributes, pizza and ham, simply within uh, brackets over here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, something like argument arg1, comma arg2. And then what I can do is I can get rid of this dot notation that I used earlier and simply pass in arg1 and arg2 over here. And now if I go ahead and save this, you'll see it makes no difference, it still works. And just to prove to you that this still works perfectly fine, I'm gonna go ahead and exchange the word pizza for something like burger. And let's have a burger with salami. Uh, a bit of a strange combination, but it will work as an example. And you can see that it has switched the words on the right-hand side. So that is just a second way of passing in properties into a function. All right, so that's going to be it on this video for properties in React. I hope that it helped you out. If it did, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, and we'll see each other in the next video.